today we are going to be checking out all the awesome upgrades made on the brand new duplicate i3 plus as well as getting into an in-depth comparison of the last year's best-selling model the i3 plus v2.1 The V2.1 features an external electronic housing box. This affects the area of the printer on a desktop or table. The Plus features a building electronic cabinet underneath the printer. The entire electronic housing has been placed underneath the frame, allowing a much smaller footprint with less visible cabling. The V2.1 uses two jack chains to bundle cabling. The plus uses just one sheet plant ribbon cable. The V2.1 uses a mini SD card slot. This is not allowed the use of a full-size SD card. The Plus features a full-size SD card slot. This allows the use of full-size SD card as well as a mini SD card slot. The V2.1 uses a filament holder which requires a plastic ring to be screwed on and off to secure your filament. The Plus features a new filament holder that allows you to just hold your filament right on. The V2.1 individual cables run from the extruder to the external electronic housing. The Plus only uses one flat cable from the extruder to the building electronics cabin, makes it easier to be replace single components on the extruders. On the V2.1 throwing through the LCD menu, it's done via a rotary dial clockwise or anti-clockwise and pushing clicking selections. The Plus uses a 3 quarter inch touch screen panel featuring touch a highly response digital maneuvering. The menu is done by simply touching your selection. The V2.1 extruder assembly bearing housings are plastic. The Plus extruder assembly bearing housings are both plastic and metal. The V2.1 utilized a common mainboard. The Plus features a customized one-hole mainboard. That concludes our comparison of the duplicator i3 v2.1 and i3 plus. For more information of one how, please feel free to browse our website or mail us below.